Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go through a quick overview of what you need to do for activity two. Um, things that would be helpful to have written down for this ahead of time. Um, let's see, how about y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. Um, let's see, what else? What do I need to know for the vertex? x equals negative b over 2a. For the x-intercepts, that's where, we're gonna, where we are going to solve the quadratic equation. Uh, uh, x equals negative b plus or minus. The quadratic equation, I mean the quadratic formula, I should say. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Right, um, And then the y-intercepts, that's where we're going to take the quadratic equation and set, set x equal to 0. So that's what you need to do with each of those um, parts. Does the graph open up or down? Then we're going to look at is a positive or is a negative to know whether the graph opens up or down. So where do we get all these a's, b's, and c's from? Well, my quadratic equation over there, we're going to say a is negative 1. That's the number in front of the x squared. b is positive 6. That's the number in front of the x. And c is negative 8. All right. So that is the information, kind of the preliminary thinking that you need to do before you can bust out some answers to each of these problems. Um, with this first one, I'll help you just with one more part. Uh, we're going to set, I'll, I'll set up, I'll plug in the values into the quadratic formula for you. All right. And that is going to look like this. Negative b is 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times a is negative 1. Oops, let me make sure you can see that. Negative 1 times c is negative 8. And that is all over 2 times negative 1. So that you have to now simplify. And then you'll get two solutions, your x-intercepts. Um, and the rest of that part should be pretty straightforward. Let's just take a quick look at the bottom here. Right here we've got our quadratic equation again. A is 1. B is negative 4. C is is negative 5 and you've got to answer all those questions again and then sketch a halfway decent graph okay oh one other thing good um, I'm doing this off the cuff here one other thing when you find the vertex of the graph and all of these points I want to see them as ordered pairs okay so for the vertex when you get X you want to substitute that answer back in and find out what Y is equal to all right, and then you're going to write down that as a coordinate x comma y. When you find your x intercepts for both of them, the y coordinate is going to be zero, and when you find your x, your y intercept, the x coordinate is going to be zero. Okay, so there's just a little bit of help with what the answer should look like. Sketch your graphs, make sure they look halfway decent. I'm not expecting perfection and submit it to the appropriate Dropbox. Let me know if you have questions, if you get stuck on either of these problems. Hopefully that gets you started, though. Um, good luck on the rest of it. Have a great day.